Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is BKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 137. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode. If you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. If you're anyone out there who wants to support me, and I greatly appreciate it, I always talk about it. Uh, if you guys want to read all, like, read along with me where there's no blur, no censorship, and also gain early access for the month and not wait for it to come out for the following weeks or months. Uh, they're all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Man, if, we're, if I remember, the baby, Rasha's first baby, is coming to visit and it's going to be some drama. <sighs> oh. Their stern face. It wasn't easy, but I was able to jump further ahead in line than I, I expected. Now I just need the people who went in front of me to make their way out soon. Aww. There, there, don't cry, Ian, my precious angel. You two, go inside and get ready to greet the Emperor and Empress. I got it. Aww. Huh? Oh. Huh? What? Uh, uh, what is he doing here? The Remarried Empress, episode 137. Greetings, your majesties. He's the eldest son of Viscount Lotatio. Then that means... Uh. That child is Rasha's firstborn. Your Majesty, uh, the child has never known the embrace of his mother. As Your Majesty is the mother of the nation, it is my hope that you will bless him while holding him in your arms. Huh? Empress Rasha's expression. Is she feeling unwell? Everyone will think it's strange if I refuse. If she does not feel any sort of like heart tug, like you know, pulling on your heartstrings, then she's a cruel person. <gasps> the dead baby the Viscount handed me was stiff and cold. That baby was incredibly light. How is it that this one is so warm and soft? <laughs> oh. If <gasps> this baby suddenly dies like the other one, uh, he, he's a lovely child. <laughs> Rasha might be more ruthless than I expected. But the fact that she abandoned her child must be eating away at her conscience. I feel bad for her. St St Greetings, your majesties. Oh, that man. He's a journalist who writes for the commoners. The one that interviewed me after Duke Ergie introduced him to me. He made an imp impression because he left the interview looking elated. And wrote me a an article praising me as the future of the Eastern Empire and a ray of hope for the common people. <laughs> Alan did put me in a dicey situation, but this man is unlikely to say anything bad. What a relief. I stand before your majesties today in search of my sister, who I've had no word for, from for a month. Why do you need royal assistance for that matter? My sister works at the palace, your majesty. She and I are close, and we've been in constant contact after she started working here. So when she went silent, I asked around and eventually went to see the royal steward. He said that my sister had quit. He suggested that she may have eloped with a knight. However, if that were true, she would have simply married him instead. My sister is unwed and has nothing shameful to hide. So she wouldn't have run away, even if she had found a lover. That makes sense. 
even if the man was married, nobles openly keep mistresses, so it wouldn't have been necessary to run off to get, together. What is your sister's name and what was her occupation? My sister's name is Delise. Oh, and she was her majesty's maid. Dum. Your majesty, do you know what happened to her? Dum. As, uh, as I only have two personal maids, their workload is considerable. Belize quit because the work was too demanding. I don't know what became of her afterwards. But, but if that was true, she should have come back home. Enough. Rest assured, I shall conduct a thorough investigation into this matter. Thank you, Your Majesty. Huh? Thank you. Meanwhile, in the Western Empire, Recently, there have been rumors that His Majesty and Lady Krista are having a secret affair. What? They can't be serious. Ugh. His and Her Majesties are so passionate together that I can't only dress Her Majesty in high neck gowns even though it's getting warmer. What utter nonsense. The citizen of the Eastern Empire who is touchy about the Emperor's affair. Hmm. <clears throat> A group of noble women said they saw His Majesty lying well affectionately on Lady Chris's lap on the second day of the receptions in a lounge. That's the day that Coffin drugged Henry with the potion. Mm. Your Majesty told me to look into why noble women suddenly warmed up to you after the wedding and why you were getting a flood of letters supporting you. I believe that's the reason. Ugh. The ink on the wedding certificate had barely dried. Another citizen of the M Eastern Empire who is touchy about the Emperor's affair. <laughs> you just you must send that woman to Compshire right away, Your Majesty. You can't let this His Majesty get away with this either. Ugh, Laura. It's about time we discussed what to do about Krista. We mustn't jump to conclusions. The noble women don't have all the facts. I'll listen to what His Majesty has to say first. My queen? Huh. May I have a moment of your time? I can see all of her maids just glaring at him like... <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Henry's in trouble by the maids, but at least uh, Navier knows the truth, so that's okay, you know. He was under the influence of a potion, okay, guys? Man, but for Rashta part, I don't know, like, I don't know her emotions, honestly. Like, did she feel connected to that baby and like, oh my god, I'm so sad that this baby you know, is growing up without me and that, you know, who was the dead baby that she was holding that uh, her Viscount Latasha gave her? Like, whose baby was that? Who did that baby belong to? Why? Yeah. I wonder if she made that connection or was her, her mind rejecting the baby and was like, well, that's not my baby because the baby I held was so light and this baby is just so, it's heavier and fuller and full of life and so warm. So I don't know. But from um so Vaisha's point of view he thinks that Rashta feels sorry you know like probably it's like he pitied her because she can't be around her baby you know and this baby's gonna grow up without her and she go can only watch the baby from a distance and of course down to Delise and her brother Delise is gone and I think she was banished I don't think she's unalive or dead um I don't think she's gone gone but i think she's just banished to another place where she's unreachable right so man what's gonna happen once the brother finds out the truth she's gonna write some bad articles about her all right guys if you guys enjoy my webtoon reactions feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments on how you feel about this what do you think's gonna happen and to you guys out there no spoilers but if you guys do have a spoiler put spoiler in the top caption and space it and so that way other people who have not read ahead 
um, can be surprised too. I don't mind the spoilers. I love spoilers, but there are other people who don't like it. So, <laughs> all right, guys, let's, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.